Good afternoon, everyone. So I, I, I'm Lu Ding, a uh, postdoctoral research from Tokyo Institute of Technology. And uh, actually, I already got the faculty in my home university. It's in Shanghai, East China University of Science and Technology. Today, my topic is on uh, a dis distributed, uh, sorry, this is a light. A distributed power generation system based on carbonized biomass gasification. And uh, this is the outline, uh, include four parts. First is the background. Uh, in Japan, due to the special geologic structure, uh, the natural disaster like a tsunami, like an earthquake, oftentimes occurred there. Nevertheless, um, there are still a lot of houses are uh, built by wood. Uh, after this natural disaster, there are a lot of uh, waste wood will be remained. Um, actually, besides the waste wood, there are also a greater amount of waste, uh, food, uh, food waste, also rice straw. How to rash from, uh, rationally utilize this waste biomass has got more and more attention in Japan. So our concept is, consists of two parts. Uh, the first is the biomass uh, pretreatment. Uh, which include the carbonization and the densification. The second is the gasification and the power generation system. Um, also, the biomass and the waste uh, power generation system are becoming more bigger and more centralized. Mobile is still the trend of the modern technology. The small scale distributed power generation system, um, uh, uh, there are big needs uh, of this technology in the uh, disaster area of the developed countries and uh, in the unelectrified rural area of the developing countries. For this project, our target is to realize a 100 hour continuous operation in the open field. Uh, this slide shows the, some basic difference between biomass and coal. Also, these two carbonaceous materials uh, experience a similar reaction stable uh, during the thermal conversion. Uh, process uh, include uh, devolatization to char and the uh, volatiles and the uh, combustion of the volatiles and the char. Uh, however, there are still significant differences between these two solid fuel, like uh, the biomass uh, Paris starts earlier. And uh, there are also several severe challenges for biomass utilization, uh, include uh, the foreign problems and uh, the irregular particle troubles, which will affect the feeding issues. Also, for some biomass, they also contain a high water content. For our project, because we, we are more concerned for fixed by the gasification, so we are focusing on how to improve the market density, the energy density, and the solid strength of the solid fuel for the stable operation of the system. So this is the second part. Uh, this is the uh, whole system. So the biomass first uh, experience the uh, carbonization and the crushing and the densification. And the for the carbonization system, so here is the structure of the carbonizer, which are consisted of two chambers. The left side is the uh, carbonization chamber, and the right side is the combust chamber. So at the beginning, uh, we input 10 kilogram wood here for ignition. And the whole gas will go through the jacket for uh, heating the system. And we keep uh, input wood until the temperature of the carbonization chamber reach around 200 degrees C. And then the volatile metal will release from the carbonization chamber. And this combustible gas will enter in the combustion chamber for burning. And this heat will be utilized for further heating. At that timing, no more wood was needed for the heating. Uh, so this is a almost energy-free system. Uh, the total wood consumption in the combustion chamber is around 25 kilogram wood for one batch test. Um, after carbonization, uh, we utilize the uh, power vinyl icro solution and the bio oil as the binder for densification. And then the dense bed fuel was gas fried in this updraft fixed by the gas fire. And then it goes through the purification system. And then the clean gas goes to entering the engine for power generation. 
the output power is around 30 kilowatts. So this slide shows the detailed composition of our gasification and power generation system. So the thin gas uh, goes through several secondary uh, purification system, including the cyclone separate, the water scrubber, condenser, and oil scrubber, chaffiot. Before the thin gas become qualified, the gas was uh, transferred into the burner for burning. And after the thin gas, the lower heating value of the thin gas uh, reached around four megajoule per cubic meter uh, uh, per kilogram. The thin gas was switched into the engine for power generation. As I mentioned, uh, uh, the main purpose for our system is uh, to realize the mobile characters. So that means the whole system can be transferred to the desired place as we wish. So the third part is the 100 hour operation. Uh, uh, the open field test site was chosen in a famous hot spring uh, hotel in Japan. And here you can see this is the engine, this is the carbonizer, this is the gas fire. And this is the carbonizer pallet for gasification. And here you can see the running time of the engine and the gas fire. Uh, these two tables shows the basic analysis of our feed stock. Uh, for this project, we adopted uh, the wood waste and the food waste for as a raw feed stock. As you can see in table one, um, after carbonization and densification, the lower heating value increased uh, significantly. So this is a good thing for the gasification, for thin gas production. And the figure one, oh, sorry. So figure one shows that in most stage, the system was kept stable. However, uh, the system was still shut down for twice during uh, 70 to 80 hours uh, due to the broken use of tar. And the figure two shows the uh, thin gas quality. So uh, most, in most stages, the thin gas is still uh, uh, quality. It is a high quality for power generation. And the figure three shows the pressure loss of each facility. So we can see for what scrub for each facility, the pressure loss increased sharply after 60 hours. Um, figure, four, uh, figure four shows that the tar remove efficiency uh, of each facility. So the tar concentration from the outside of the uh, cyclone separator was around 5.5 .5 gram per cubic meter. Actually, for the Raw biomass, if the updraft uh, fixed by the gas fire was adopted, this value can reach around uh, 15 to 100 gram per cubic meter. Because we, uh, because we utilize the carbon as fuel, so this value, uh, value is already low. Uh, but after purification, um, still a lot of time we are remained in the system. So this will cause a big challenge for the continuous operation. Uh, as I mentioned, the, the, the tar generation is still a challenge for, uh, so for, for long-term operation. So we also did some uh, lab test to check the tar uh, generation characters. The sample we used is a wood char, uh, food waste char, and a wood char pallet, food waste char pallet. These two pallets, we utilize the bio oil as a binder. And uh, the temperature is 700 to 900 degrees C, and the holding time is 30 minutes. So here I only show the tar generation performance. So you can see uh, in this figure, the uh, food waste char have as a present a higher tar concentration, and after the densification, the tar gener generation increased both for both feedstock increased greatly. So this means that uh, um, the new CO2 provider should be tested for. Uh, the densification process of waste wood for stable operation. So this is also our uh, next planning to find um, another suitable vendor. Uh, the last part is the remarks and the applications. So technically, this uh, distributed power generation, uh, generation system based on carbonized biomass gasification was feasible. And uh, also, it's uh, environmentally friendly when considering the gas, the solid, or the liquid uh, waste. 
Because for the gasification part, the main solid waste is from the bottom of the gas fire. For this solid residue, the carbon content can still be around 30 to 50 percent. So we utilize this solid waste in the combust chamber of the carbonizer for burning. So the final solid waste will be the ash. And after evaluation, this ash can be utilized for soil abandonment or fertilizer. This depends on the low feed stock we used. And for the main liquid waste, it's from the water scrubber. Because the water scrubber, we are cleaning the sink gas. We are removing the dust and the tar in the sink gas. So we utilize this waste water for the densification process as the water. Yeah. And for the gas, it's from the engine. Outside of the engine, is the temperature is around 300 degrees C, and the CO, uh, CO concentration is around 1,000 ppm. So we are concede, concede to reuse this exhaust gas uh, in the gas fire for further increase the gasification efficiency. Uh, actually, this uh, project has been applied in Vietnam. So here I briefly introduce Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam is, uh, uh, in recent years, Vietnam uh, economy also grows very fast, around 6%. But one interesting thing is that in this country, 80% of the tropical tools is still based on the mo mo motorcycles. So, so here, this is the video I took in Ho Chi Minh City. This is a very high development city. So on the first day, when I arrived in uh, Vietnam, when I tried to cross the road uh, without the traffic light, it's really, uh, I feel very confused because a lot of uh, uh, motorcycles come from one side. It's very dangerous, I think. So I think the hyper from the website, they just said, the only comment is that you just keep the same speed, not fast or slow, not fast or slow, then you will be safe. So uh, this project is based on this background. Uh, one company, they uh, provided this proposal, uh, want to reduce the, utilize, uh, the amount of the motorcycles um, by this joint project. So this is a trade solution for energy production, the waste treatment, and the CO2 reduction because of less, uh, less uh, fuel uh, motorcycles in the future. Um, uh, firstly, we utilize the uh, MSW, uh, solid waste, and I use the same uh, gasification and the power generation system I uh, introduced uh, previously uh, for power generation. And then we use this electricity to charge the uh, electric vehicle. And this EV can be utilized for collect the um, uh, solid waste again. And also they can be applied in the uh, commercial com uh, community. So I think this is a good uh, business model uh, because they they have the income for, from the waste treatment, and also they can get the income from the selling products like electricity and also fertilizer. Uh, and also now with the development of technology, the labor cost, the utility cost, the capital cost is all reduced. So the most important thing is that this is a, a good thing for the energy, uh, for the environment protection. Yeah, so this is my presentation. Thank you. I could start with one. So, yep. the, um, there's some benefits for uh, the mobile unit versus a stationary one in terms of being close to biomass, presumably. Are there costs based on your study? Does it is it uh, more difficult, more expensive to make this system mobile than to have it stationary? Um, you mean like something like the like economical analysis? Uh, yeah, it's just your sense about it. I yep, remember. actually, for the uh, for the for this project, uh, because it's supported by the Ministry of Defense in Japan, so the, it's, uh, it's, uh, the target is the, to realize the energy production in the disaster area. 
So we did uh, do the uh, economic uh, uh, analysis, but for the project in Vietnam, uh, because I, I did the uh, introduce detail, they have the they have four parts. From the from the first part, it's like a, for the solid waste because the moist, sometimes the solid uh, the moisture content is high. They combine the solar energy and use the solar energy for drying. So this is the one part. Uh, dr uh, drying part. The second part is the carbonization. Carbonization part, they modify the carbonization, increase the efficiency. The third part is the gasification and the power generation. Uh, they also uh, uh, did the econ economic uh, uh, calculation of, the, of this part. And uh, the, uh, the last part is the residue. Because uh, for, this, uh, for the solid waste in Vietnam, most is from coconut. So the solid residue after gasification can be utilized for fertilizer. So they also have uh, the, how to say, uh, uh, have the department for the fertilizer design. So this, I think for this business model, uh, economic is OK. It's still good. Yeah, thank you. Want to ask a question? What is the? Heat to electricity efficiency of the total system. Total system. Efficiency. Uh, total, total efficiency. Total efficiency. Total system. Uh, 26. The value of the, of the biomass going in, or I should say, electricity coming out divided by the uh, heat value of the biomass going in. Uh, it's about 26%. 26%. Yes. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Well, you torrefy or you pureize or carbonize the biomass, and then you gasify. Yeah, yes, and then densified, yes. Densified, yeah. And yeah. Uh, what is uh, the tar content seems to be worse yeah. because you torrefy the biomass, or it was on the other way around? I didn't understand. That. No, the, uh, the tar concentration tar is uh, much lower. Much lower. Yeah, because uh, our, the tar uh, the tar concentration in you know, a thing guys now it's around five milligram per cubic meter. Yeah, I know, but yeah. it's, uh, you reduce till one or something like that, one point five or one point five. But it's still very high for an engine. Oh, you make here? I know. Yeah, yeah, yes, and yes, uh, yes. You're only right. Those cars point are one. Very aromatic. Ah, exactly. Very heavy. Yes. So even less tar is. Yes. Better than more tar if the tar are not so heavy. Exactly. Like naphthalene or yes. Actually, here is still a little higher because of the for engine the uh, the, the very much. Point one, zero point one is uh, acceptable uh, because the main reason is we utilize the bio oil oh. for desification. Because in the after of the gas fire, the, the upper part, of, the temperature of the upper part is lower. So most of the bio oil we are directly came out. So this is a problem. So you run the, the engine continuously? Yeah, no problem. Right. Yeah. So, uh, 100 hours. Exactly. So you can see here, uh, the total running time is 50 hours because of, uh, when the engine running is very noisy. So the, during that time, we, did, we switch off. But uh, during the daytime, we switch on again, so it's around but 50. That, that flame is full of stars. Is it the red one that I see? This one? It's, yeah, that's the red thing? Yeah, is yeah. The flame? No, no, the red, there, there is a spot which I thought it was the flame. Yeah? Yeah. This is a 50 hours? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a 50 hours. Yeah, sorry, it's not. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.